Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries I have for you a brand new as seen on television product. Today we're going to try this amazing knife. Diamond Sharp. Its ceramic coating is infused with real diamonds. <laughs> Listen, the days of copper anything are long gone. That is so 2018. 2019 started off with blue diamond pans, then we got blue diamond everything. Diamond Sharp combines a hardened stainless steel core with a genuine diamond infused ceramic coating. But wait, let me tell you a little secret. Earlier in the year, they had an infomercial running for this thing and it was double the price. Diamond Sharp Knife for $19.99. And then they must have decided, listen, I don't know. Allegedly, they couldn't sell it for $19.99. So they cut that shit in half, 50% off. Everything must go. The diamond sharp knife for the breakthrough price of ten dollars. Ten bucks, that's not horrible. It is diamond infused ceramic coating. Sound familiar? Mm-hmm. It will chop, dice, slice, mince, carve. Now you can chop, slice, and dice quickly and easily. All knives do that, right? Diamond infused ceramic coating is five times stronger than steel. For $10, pretty good. I don't think there's anything fancy on the peeler besides <laughs> it's blue. It's the easy, ultra sharp, and effortless peeler you'll love. Oh, here's another thing. This claim, this claim that I'm about to read. I was like, why? What? When? What scenario? How can I test that? Cheese won't stick to the diamond coating. Why does my knife need to be non stick? In the infomercial, they're saying for cheese. So we're gonna cut cheese. Does that sound right? Cut the cheese? <laughs> I thought that was a kind of a cheesy claim. Like they can't think of anything else so they have to throw the eggs. I've never had a knife and went, I wish this knife was non-stick. Have you? Let me know in the comments if you've had a knife and you were like, ugh, oh, I bought the non-stick knife. <laughs> that's, that, I don't think that's ever happened ever in history of humankind. Now let me show you what we have here to test because that infomercial had me all messed up. First, the traditional tomato. Every single infomercial that's selling you a knife does the tomato trick. Are your knives too tired and dull to slice a tomato in half? They also do the pineapple trick. Ultra durable. They cut an orange in that infomercial. Look. Slice a tough orange peel, paper thin. Paper thin. We're gonna try that. I guess I could peel this with that peeler and chop it up like this. Nothing sticks and it stays ultra sharp. You know what I need? I need one of those gloves so that I don't chop off a finger one day. You know, sometimes I have accidents. That's not a word. <laughs> don't tell me. I know it's funny to say it like that. God, a can of my favorite beverage. Sponsor me, please. Let me explain the piece of paper. In the video, he's hitting the knife. We hacked and chopped a wooden board that would destroy an ordinary knife. But Diamond Sharp Knife stays sharp as a razor. Then he takes that same knife and then he's like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. it's not dull. He can slice through paper, look. Now, I don't know what kind of paper he had. If it was like thick paper. And girl, I got this basic ass Dollar Tree to-do list paper. That's thin. Let's see, let's see if it'll cut that. Even try dulling it on a brick. But diamond sharp is tougher than steel. Now I did not have a brick, <laughs> okay? So I thought, well, what am I gonna use to kind of dull the knife? It has to be something hard. And I thought, hard and big, what can I get? So I got a bone. <laughs> the biggest, hardest bone I could find at the uh, pet supply store. <laughs> That's a big bone. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Vivian, what you, wait. <laughs> what kind of, ew, I just touched that <laughs> with my, I need gloves. I'm grossed out. I'm grossed out looking at this thing. That's a giant bone. <laughs> you guys see that? I don't know what kind of animal this is. This is not a small animal, right? This is a, <laughs> this is a dinosaur bone. So we're going to use this in place of the brick because we don't do basic ass test here. We got to take it level 10. So we got 90 tortillas that I'm gonna cut like that in place of our pineapple and I got a bone I am gonna try to slice the bone too do you think I can cut through this bone with one like a ninja maybe I don't want to touch it <laughs> I don't know what, what animal is this y'all know Ew. 
another one. I need gloves. I'm just grossed out right now because <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> I don't know how many times I've mentioned this. I absolutely, with all of my guts, hate this type of packaging. I could have sworn they were outlawed. <laughs> like they said, you can't make them anymore. Did I make that shit up? I know I heard it on the TV sometime, years ago. Did they take it back or what? See, because you can't open it. It's just like torture. And I'm strong. And I still can't open this shit. Oh wait, <laughs> I can't open it because I'm trying to cut through the diamond knife. <laughs> go around, dum-dum. Okay, here we go. Now, something they did in the infomercial made me go... Ultra hard, ultra sharp. Did I see that right? Because I don't know if they're playing trickery or what. I don't know. My eyes could be going bad, okay? But you tell me what you see here. Does it look like they cut this tomato by just dropping it on the knife? Clean cut, choo! I don't know. Let's not be naive now. Do you think he was pre-cut and he just dropped it? Cause it's out of frame, right? He doesn't drop it like this. Like that fool got out of frame like this. If I drop it from down here and then I cut it, I don't know. I've watched that part of the damn infomercial about 20 times trying to figure out was that trickery or damn, was that for real? Cause I'm impressed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me. Ooh, I like the color. You guys know I like that navy blue. This is not navy blue. This is like a cobalt, is that a color? Cobalt blue. Get our peeler out, which, oh, they're kind of cute. I'm not gonna cry about it. Now they do claim to have a lifetime stay sharp guarantee. I don't know what the hell that means, but, and there are instructions in there. We might want to look at those real quick. <laughs> Always use caution when handling and storing knives. Keep instructions for future reference. <laughs> Where are my instructions on how to return this shit if it goes dull for the lifetime of the knife? I don't see no instructions about that. You might want to include that in the next round of these. If you're telling us we have a lifetime guarantee to stay sharp, we want to know if it doesn't stay sharp where to send the damn knife back to. It just, it's like a regular knife. Now it does feel nicer than this Dollar Tree one. <laughs> it's not a fair comparison. I mean, a do I mean, it is a fair comparison. $10, $1, that's not that far off. So here are the two knives. I think they're kind of, okay, one is a little smaller. This one is an eight inch. This is probably what, a six inch knife? This one feels like it's a $1 knife. This one, it feels heavier than this one. Okay, and then this is the little thing they give you for free. I'm gonna call it a sleeve. Okay, I like that. So you don't cut yourself. That's cool when you have it in the drawer. Okay, I like that. Why don't all knives come with this? I wish they would. I'm so nervous. I like this uh, faux gator handle look that we got going on there. It does feel nice. What the hell? Is there a crack already on my knife? There's already like a little scratch or a little thing on my knife straight out of the packaging. I don't know if that's a crack or if the, <laughs> the spray painted stainless steel look is coming off. Something's happening, but $10. We gotta just remind ourselves, $10, okay? Now, I'm not gonna do like the infomercial where they took it out of frame, or should I? Like right here? I might cut it. Okay, let's just do it and find out. Thing is, my aim is pretty bad, so I think right there is good. That's why I wanna do it from here. Let's try it from here first. It might work. Ready? One, two, three, go. It did cut it, look a little bit. Okay, let's, let's try from up high. Ready? I missed. <laughs> See, this is why I don't want to do it too high because my aim is pretty bad. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> I'm, this is going to take about 30 takes. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh! One, two, three, go. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> One, two, three, go. Oh, pretty good. Look at it. Oh, okay. Wait, I mean, it didn't go all the way through. Oh, because he was like this. Okay, let's try it again. Look, oh, let's try it again. But I have to do it like this. I just remembered. In the infomercial, he did lift it. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, my poor tomato. Ready? One, two, three, go. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> my shit didn't cut in half. In thirds. What's up? <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, I'm impressed with that little trick. Are you impressed by it? I guess it was a solid tomato because I just recreated it and it worked. Let's try it with the dollar store knife, right? Come on, dollar store. Okay, that trick's gonna work with any knife, you guys. Oh, it did not go all the way through. So, it worked on this knife. Hmm, interesting test. Okay, now for fun, let's just try peeling this potato. Ew, uh, absolutely not. No, don't even brag about this because it feels like something from the dollar store. Look at that. It's not smooth when you're peeling. It feels very cheap. Now, I'm gonna say no to this. Like, go ahead and keep this. Why don't y'all throw in a little baby knife? What are those called? You know the little ones? Is it a paring knife? Y'all should have thrown that in instead of this. No, I don't like it. So let's try just one chop down the middle to see if we can cut it. Then I'll try one chop with this knife. Yes, okay. It's sharp. Listen, I know somebody's gonna say, every knife is gonna be sharp when you first buy it. I know, we're getting to the bone, okay? This one's new too, so it should do the same thing. Ready? Same thing. Okay, let's see how fast I can cut this potato. Okay, it is sharp, duh, diamond sharp. Don't get nervous, I'm not gonna cut myself. Look at that beautiful design. For the catering business? You guys thought I forgot about that. Oh no. Uh-uh. Let's try the dollar store knife. I'm trying to go fast like the infomercial. I can definitely feel a difference with the sharpness and almost, I know this is crazy to say, but because this thing is so sharp, this one seems like it's cutting thicker and it's not. It's just that this one is going in so smoothly that it feels like it's real thin. Does that make sense? Let's try the can test. Slice right through this aluminum can, dulling any ordinary knife. This better not ruin my knife. I'm gonna be very upset. So in the infomercial, they also used the can. He cut the can in half and then sliced some more shit. I'm gonna try to do the orange after, but let's try cutting the can first. This makes me like, <laughs> like, what is that called when I go like that? <laughs> Cringe? You know when people scratch the chalkboard, cutting a can makes me, oh, <laughs> like it hurts my insides. Okay, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, ready? Do it fast. I can't. You guys, they did this in the infomercial. They cut the can. I can't cut the can. Did I just ruin that? Oh my God. Let's try this knife. Neither of them are cutting a can. What the hell's wrong with y'all? Why'd y'all put that in the infomercial? What kind of can did y'all have? Y'all, I know the Dr. Pepper cans are probably the best, but. Nothing. Let's see if it scratched up my knife. Now let's try to test cutting the orange paper thin. Okay, feels good. Let's try this side with this one. Mm, it's all right. <laughs> I can definitely feel that this is dollar store. Paper thin. Oh, Ooh. look at that, paper thin. Let's try it with this knife, right? All knives can cut paper thin. It all depends on the skill of the chef. Look at that, paper thin. And actually that one looks way better than all of them. Paper thin from the dollar store as well. 
<laughs> Look at that. Hey, that's pretty impressive from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so there you go. Nothing to brag about, okay? Let's try one slice like this, just down the middle. Oh, it didn't cut it all the way. Look. <laughs> now let's try with this knife. Ready? See, this one is sharper. Nothing to brag about. But the dollar store one, yeah, you can definitely tell it's not as sharp as the diamond sharp. That's a pretty good test right there, right? <laughs> let's try the non-stick claim of this knife. This is silly. Cheese won't stick to the diamond coating. Who needs a non-stick knife? Please give me some examples besides cheese. We'll start with the diamond sharp. Don't all knives do this? Non-stick? <laughs> That's such a silly claim. This is the first time in an infomercial that I heard a knife being non-stick as one of the <laughs> like the benefits or the claims of the damn thing. Oh, <laughs> you better shut up, Vivian. Okay, hold on. Let's go back and try it again. Let's see. Doing the same thing. I was going to say, wait a second. From what I just experienced, they're both nonstick to me. If you have a different experience, please let me know in the comments. I'll be reading comments to see what you guys think. Now the bone. <laughs> I don't want to touch it too much, but I have to touch it, okay? You don't want to touch bone this big, this hard ever, but... <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and touch it for the video. Okay. Do you think I can cut it? Like, the idea of it is to dull the knife, but I want to see if I can go straight through. What do you think? First, we're going to try that, and then I'll dull it like they do, hitting it side to side. Okay, ready? What? I'm scared. Ready? Do any goggles in case bone? No? Ready? One, two, three, go. Nothing. Did it hurt it? Oh, did it hurt it? Ooh, there's bone residue powder. No! The bone bent my knife. Let's try the Dollar Tree knife. Ready? Let me make sure it's perfect. It is. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Let's see. I'm going to try a couple more. There's no way in hell I'm going to cut through that. <laughs> okay, now this one. Okay, both knives are pieces of shit. <laughs> Okay, that's bent. Actually, there's a piece missing out of that one. Let me show you guys the close-up of the knives. Now it's five times stronger than steel. The secrets in the diamonds. Let's try this paper test. I'm sure it's still gonna do it because I'm probably gonna miss this area right here. I bet I can do it with this knife too, ready? No, you can't, <laughs> oh my God. Oh wait, no, see? Oh, but it's not smooth. So I'm gonna say for the paper test, the Diamond Sharp worked better than this one did. It was there. Now let's try the tortillas. I prefer corn over flour. Tell me what you prefer, corn or flour. Corn to me just tastes better. 80, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. 80 tortillas. They're not going to waste. I'm gonna make 80 taquitos after this video. Ooh, look at that. Instead of making taquitos, I can make chips. So how about that? I can make chips if I can cut this straight. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're for me anyway. Have you ever seen anything like this on an infomercial? They need to get with it. Tortillas are very popular in the U.S. So I don't know why they're always doing a pineapple. This is a real test. It's thick. It's doughy. I'm saying I'm going to get to about right there. Let me lower my table real quick. <laughs> not impressed. Not even close. Look at that. That's not very impressive. I only got about 20 tortillas there. Okay, let's try this knife. One. This did way worse. This one only went down probably 10. So this one is definitely sharper. Do you guys think I can cut it? 
like a saw. Let's set a timer to see how long it's going to take me with the diamond sharp to slice through all these tortillas. I finally said it right. I know somebody's going, finally, I hate when she says tortillas. Hello? Okay. Ready? Go! Fuck, it, I dropped it. Let's start over. <laughs> We're gonna have to use the bone as our stand. <laughs> I went from I don't want to touch the bone to sure, let's go ahead and prop my phone on the bone. Fingers crossed that that's gonna hold up. Ready? Oh, see, it's gonna fall. Oh, that's not fair. We gotta start over. It's when I touch it. Okay, ready? Go. Gentle, Vivian. Okay, ready? Go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Almost done! Almost done! Boom! <gasps> How long is that? 18 seconds. I'm gonna say like 18 and some change, right? <gasps> That's a clean cut. Look at those tortillas. That's gonna make some good chips. Okay, let's reset our timer. Reset. Ready? Go. Okay, go, 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 go. Fast. Fast. Oh my god. That's not gonna work, okay? The diamond sharp is definitely gonna win because, oh no! Wait, oh, oh, wait. Can we cut through 80 tortillas? Done! Oh no, that took about 23 seconds and some change. Look at that, pretty impressive, huh? Now you just throw these in the fryer, you get chips. This one is definitely sharper than the Dollar Tree one. But I'm still not impressed. It's a basic knife. The little sleeve that they give you is pretty cool. I did like that. This peeler sucks Nargas. Um, no. The actual knife, it's fine for $19.99, hills to the no. For $10, I guess it's not bad. Actually, for $10, I'd expect to get the little knife. I want to say it's called a paring knife. You know, the little small knife? That plus this one, it would be t worth $10 to me. I don't know about this lasting a lifetime. You might have to execute that lifetime sharpness guarantee. I don't think I would recommend it to anybody, but it's just a basic knife. So, for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Diamond Sharp two Vivian heads. All right, you guys. So that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool ass seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!